this is it. Everything's going down. Rear, front, new X pipe. Coilovers, rebalance, uh, drive shaft. It's all going in. It's gonna be fun. So day one, starting to take off the rear cradle. Got it up on the quick jack. Got the rear tires off. And I'm um, gonna we'll start the process of replacing pretty much all suspension, brake rotors, wheel bearing assembly, um, I mean, you name it, bushings, control arms, all that stuff, it's all getting replaced. So, it says day one, prep work. So, got the uh, calipers off, both sides. Then, unmounted the uh, struts from the top. And also took out the cradle bolts. Uh, yeah, those big guys, it's pretty big. So it's now sitting on my transmission jack. Uh, the cradle's completely loose and uh, getting ready to, to lower it down. Threw some jacks in the front. Felt like the car was gonna lean forward since the, uh, all the weight is now in the front to the engine and no cradle. Stay tuned. All right, so the cradle is out. Um, it's completely out, detached. I guess it's more detached than it is out. But I just need to roll I'm starting to get more of this rear cradle taken apart. See the rear sway and link is out. So I got the uh, wheel bearings, rotors. Um, just in the middle of disconnecting everything I can. I get that differential out soon, drain it. Um, hasn't been too bad. As long as you have the right tools, just get it out. It makes it so much easier. So I'm about to take this rear uh, sway bar end link out and then take the sway bar out. And just keep going from there. Upper control arm bushings will be next. That's where we're at. All right, so the new rear sway bar is in place and I got the two upper control arm bushing mounts in place. Uh, the mounts are torqued down, but the actual bushing bolt is uh, not torqued down yet because I got to time that bushing once once I get it on the car at right height. Um, so soon will be the control arms, the sway end links, and then cleaning up this whole thing as it goes. You can see it's clean there, dirty there. Differential, I've, I did drain the fluid so I can get those bushings well, out now. Before I finish up, I decided to put in the uh, trailing arm bushings at the bottom there, as you can see. It actually wasn't that hard. Um, I put them in dry, like BMR said to. They slid right in, they didn't slide right in, but a little pressure. Greased them up, put the uh, inner sleeve. They're good, good to go. So that's where we're at. It's got the rear coilovers in. Mounted up, torqued. Just hanging there, chilling, but uh, I'm not that heavy, so it's fine. Um, once I get the uh, cradle finished, then I'm gonna mount the cradle up without the differential to alleviate some weight. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that, and then I'll put the differential in afterwards, um, or maybe not. We'll see when we get there. But there we have it: rear coilovers halfway installed. All right, so got control arm, lower rear control arm in, got the tow link in, and trailing arm. Um, but they're all loose. It's so better time the bushings later, but also take the axles out so we can get the differential out. And that is fun. Sawzine so those bushings out and then popping it out, you can see right there. I'm having fun with that. I got two more to do. Then the Hendrix uh, offset bushings will go in. Got some help here from my buddy Willie. Good times. All right. Differentials back in with the Hendrix bushings. Uh, we never want to do this again. <laughs> um, if you do do the Hendrix bushings, be sure to lube them before you put them in. Lube. Okay. Right. Yeah, all of 
because if you don't, it's, yeah, after the first one, we learned that you need to really lube it. Um, all the videos I saw, nobody lubed them, but make sure you do. Uh, good luck. Make sure you lube the outsides too, because good luck getting that rear one in. Uh, my buddy Willie here was actually standing on it and actually jumping and then dancing on it to get it in. Uh, these front ones, you have to make sure you get them in lined up right away because once they're in there, it's, it's a pain. So but anyway, it's in. We're going to put the axles back and then uh, I'll probably wrap it up for tonight. So I finally, you can see it here, got the cradle up inside. Uh, it's not fully mounted yet. You can see the, uh, the new solid bushing right there. Um, coilovers aren't mounted to the lower bracket yet. They're just kind of hanging there. But uh, I was able to get it up on just a jack stand piece of wood. And um, as you can see, it's still hanging there. I have to bolt that in. But the cradle is not fully in. So you can see the bushings, they're kind of still chilling but it's all the bolts are in so it's holding it I'm gonna tighten it down torque it up and then um and put it at right height and uh start timing the bushings then on to the front suspension so i was happy i was able to get this cradle up by myself i was a little worried but i just took a took my time doing it and uh it's good to go so Start wrapping it up in the next couple days. Drive shaft is back in. Uh, I got it back from Drive Shaft Shop. And um, they said it was too long, so they ended up cutting it, not on this end, but the other end. So I got it back up because it was vibrating over 80 miles per hour. So, um, but since I added the Hendrix engineering, um, differential bushings, so up in there, that's where the bolts are, um, they, uh, they raise the, the differential. So there's always concern about, okay, is it going to hit the heat shield right, right here? And, um, it actually clears, so you don't hear anything, okay, no rubbing. So hopefully it'll be good driving. But I also, it was rubbing at first and I pinpointed it to, sorry, it's so close, I'm on my back here. Um, I cut right here, the heat shield, all the way from, from here, all the way across because it was hitting the knuckle right here on this U joint. So if you see that little point. So when it would turn, it would rub all on right here. Those are the the highest points of the whole drive shaft. So since I was able to pinpoint that and I could see the rubbing marks on here, I just cut around it and now it's good to go. So I get to keep my, my heat shield, which is good to protect my fuel tank. There you have it. suspension it's uh it's getting there it's taking a little bit longer than i expected but uh sway bars in i got the z28 um radius rod and lower rear control arm um i put the bmr bushings in that wasn't too bad um as long as you lube it up it's good to go and then i got the coilovers um everything's just kind of in there it's not torqued down yet so i kind of have it all um just staged for now I still have to put the bushing in that arm so that's why it's hanging there so it's getting there pretty soon it'll be done and then uh, i'll keep updating you guys um but the coilovers are really nice adjustable on top for the strut they look really nice so there you have it. Got all the front suspension installed. 
snug down. Everything's torqued that can be torqued, like on the knuckle. Um, bushings are just snug, so I'll time the bushings. I'm gonna put on the rotors and calipers will go back on. Then the wheels, those are new Z28 pumps right there. Um, so once I get those in, then I'll drop the car, move it around a little bit, throw it back up on some wood cribs and uh, time the bushings on the both front and rear. So there you guys have it. All right, got the calipers on, rotors on, everything's torqued, everything's looking really good. Uh, it's not the time the bushings, but um, it's looking pretty nice. So I'm about to put the wheel on, lower the car, and then uh, time the bushings front and rear. So there we have it. Finally got the car on the wood cribs to time the bushings. Um, let me tell you, you know this. The cribs are about a foot high, so I have plenty of room under the car, but to get to some of these bolts is just not fun. So you gotta get creative. Uh, a lot of different extensions and different adapters. So they're all 18, 21 millimeters, but just to get to those areas can be a pain. Um, but it's all done. All the bushings are timed. Everything is torqued to spec. Now off to Chew Works to get my ride height done properly and um, alignment. Now the car is complete. It's back in its home in my little garage, nice and dirty. But um, the car drives amazing now. Uh, Chu works. He he did an amazing job on the alignment. Um, it was really jacked up when I took it to him, but he he took care of it. And when I drove it home, it just it stuck to the ground. It took the turns nice and easy, and um, it's yeah, it's never handled like that. It, it, you know, obviously the suspension helps but without a perfect alignment, we're no, you're not gonna get that. So look them up if you're in SoCal, uh, Chew Works alignment. And um, next is off to uh, Full Throttle Customs and uh, to Ray, and he's going to retune it and redo the E85 tune as well. And then we should be set for a while with the car. We'll see what happens from there. 